If you want to 3D print parts that need to withstand heat or extreme temperatures, here is what filaments you need to use. There are over 10 different types of heat resistant filaments, ranging from good all the way up to optimal. Good being perfect for everyday applications, optimal being for more intensive heat applications. Let's start with the good category. These filaments can handle moderate heat and they're perfect for everyday applications. Starting with the lowest on this list is ABS, which goes up to 87 degrees Celsius. Second is ASA, which goes up to 100 degrees Celsius. Third is ASACF, which goes up to 110 degrees Celsius. Then there's PCFC, which goes up to 113 degrees. And then PC, which goes up to 117 degrees. Like mentioned, this is perfect for high heat and everyday applications. But what if you need something with a bit more heat resistance than what we already mentioned? Well, let's move into the excellent category. These parts are tougher and designed for higher performance parts. First is PA6GF, which goes up to 182 degrees. Then there's PA6CF, which goes up to 186 degrees. Then there's PETCF, which goes up to 205 degrees. And PAHTCF, which has heat resistance up to 194 degrees. These filaments are specifically for high performance parts and they're truthfully to be used for engineering applications. But what if you need something even stronger than that? Well, there are two filaments that you can use if you need something that's going to be really, really heat resistant. Now for extreme heat resistance, here's the filaments you need to use. First is PPACF, which can handle up to 227 degrees Celsius, and PPSCF, which goes up to 264 degrees Celsius. Now keep in mind, if you want to use these filaments, you'll more than likely need to use an upgraded nozzle that can print with those temperatures and even higher, in addition to having accurate cooling and probably even an enclosure to ensure your print come out as clean as possible. Just keep in mind, you very likely won't need anything in the excellent or optimal category. For most everyday prints for at-home 3D printing, you'll very likely just be using ASA or even ABS. 